Hi guys, we're going to show you around our boat today. So, I finished doing Alfie's hair, as you can see. We didn't, we ran out of battery, so you didn't get to see the end, but this is what it looked like. Not too bad, I had a few dodgy looks from people <laughs> for sure, but it's been all right. I did need to just trim it up there a bit and the other side, but we haven't had a chance to do it yet. It will do. So we've been asked for a little boat tour, so we thought we were at this nice little anchorage. It's pretty calm, it's nice and cool, so we thought, why not? Let's give it a go, let's do it, and show you around the boat. Um, I've been scrubbing the windows because these windows are so big and they're such a pain to keep clean. They're covered in thick salt, but anyway, they're clean, hopefully. So no comments about how dirty the boat is and how messy the beds are, mum. So yeah, I think, let's, let's get to it. it. So from the inside, you walk in, we've got these uh, double sliding doors. Perfect. Keeps Alfie out. You hear the sound, wanna? Oh, thank God. It shuts all the sound out, so they're handy. We have them open them up, it creates a nice open space into our uh, lovely saloon area with uh, LED lights and uh, LED lights. <laughs> so, as soon as you walk in, we've got a nice big table. So this was an extra, we asked this to be installed because it drops down into a bed. So if we get any guests on board, they can probably sleep here, but we try not to drop it down because it's a bit of a pain. But when we have movie nights, we drop this, put the projector up, and this is where we have our movie nights. Nice 360 degree views. So you can see everything that's coming. We have our nav station, which we'll come across. We'll come to that in a minute. This is our nav station. Nicely, nice messy nav drawer. <laughs> Everybody's nav station is messy. We have a nice galley, plenty of cupboard space to put stuff in. Three drawers. We have double sink, which I don't quite know what the second sink's for yet. If, anybody, if anybody's got a reason why people have a double sink, please let me know because it's handy, but it's just I'd one extra thing to clean, really. I'd prefer one big sink. One big sink is, is a bit easier. But anyway, we have a double sink. Yeah. Three taps. Why three taps? Well, I'll tell you why three taps. We have one tap, which is supplied from the fresh water in our tanks. We have another tap, which is like goes all over the place many directions. This is the taste tap for our water maker. So when we turn our water maker on, we can run it through this tap, drain it away, make sure that the water that we're putting in our water tanks is not polluted, tastes fresh and doesn't smell. And it's also handy if we just want to fill up some water bottles, we just fill it up here about putting it in the tank, running it through the, this tap, because you get like the tanky taste, the hose pipe taste. And then this is a salt water tap, which I was adamant at getting, but we don't really use it too much. <laughs> But um, we can use that. Why were you adamant? To save water. <laughs> I didn't know how convenient the water maker was going to be. I knew it made water, but I didn't know that we'd be using it as much as we are. Yeah. And we have a nice discreet bin. Well, covers the smells, so you can't smell anything. And goes into a cupboard here where you can see the bin. We can change the bin. Ice machine in there for those of you who like a GNT. A four burner stove. Three burner. A three burner stove with a nice fancy kettle which always spills. Over the back here we, as you can see we have our Nespresso coffee maker with uh, our Starbucks house blend coffee pods. This did have a lid on it, but when we were coming across from Gibraltar, somehow this was here and it jumped off onto the floor and broke. And sugar. And sugar. Of high sugars. Mm. And there's an oven. No grill. So no cheese on toast, I'm afraid. 
<laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so this that's pretty much an overview of the main saloon area. Oh, not finished yet. Double fridge. There's something smelling in there, so I'm not going to open them at the moment, but the double fridge. Super convenient. We didn't know whether we were going to go for one fridge or one freezer, but we decided, well, we didn't decide. It was too late to change our mind. So double fridge. So happy we went for a double fridge. But because we generate more power than we consume, we are going to get a freezer installed somewhere. So that is on the winter in jobs list. But we definitely needed the two fridges. These two fridges are just, yeah, definitely. Top one's food and second one's drinks. Drinks, so. yeah, yeah. And sauces and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's pretty much an overview. I don't think I've missed anything. No. Should we go to the guest cabin? Yeah, so we have two holes. We have two holes. Port side hole, starboard side hole. Port side hole is the guest side. Starboard side is our side, is the owner's suite. What was the version called? Maestro. Yeah. The maestro version. So let's go down to the uh, guest side. After you, this mate. This is you doing it now. And then carry on. So. Wait, well, let me go. So this is the main. Oh, we turn the lights on. Nice, nice. You're glowing there. Go for it. So this is the main bedroom, main guest bedroom. Yeah. So this is the main guest bedroom. As you can see, it, we can walk around it, which is why we would love this boat more than some other cats. And what else can I say about it? Nothing. It's got, it's got a wardrobe. It's got a nice pink carpet and a drawer under the drawer. bed. And ventilation. And we get a lot of ventilation because <laughs> we've got a hatch just above your head and another window just there. Yeah. And then right on the other side is the other guest cabin. After you. So, this one doesn't have a walk around bed. Lights. So, this one doesn't have a walk around <laughs> bed, but we still love it because it's kind of cozy now. Like originally I wanted it to be a walk around bed, but now I appreciate that we've got one that you can't fall out of bed. Not that we have fallen. Sometimes when you're a bit out of it or like you just need your own space we always come in here and it's just cozy and cute it's the cozy corner and also be good for kids moving on <laughs> and we at the moment use it for camera storage yeah a little bit messy a bit, bit of a messy one but when we do have kids, at least they can't roll out of bed. That was the thinking. Yeah, good idea. Here's the guest bathroom. We've got a shower and then the toilet's just there, sink. So it's nice that we don't have to shower over the toilet like we did on the last boat. We love this bathroom. Yeah. Do you have anything to say about this? No, not really. He's done a good job. Over on this side is our bedroom. So this is our bed, same setup as the guest bedroom, walk around, which is why we really like this one. And ventilation again. What? Look at the lens, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a nice wardrobe here. Plenty of wardrobe space for you, not so much for me. Yeah. I just want to, I just want to cut in here, talking about wardrobes. So in this ward, in this owner's cabin, we have one wardrobe, two wardrobes, three wardrobes, four wardrobes. Guess how many wardrobes I have? Just guess. I have one wardrobe. One wardrobe. Let's carry on. You did have two wardrobes. There's a reason why you only have one. 
Yeah. Our water maker's in the next wardrobe. It just happened to be put in the one that was meant for yours. Yeah, doesn't matter. I can live. So yes, we have a makeup table here, which we both love. And then just in that room is our little toilet. Pets for people who want to be smart. And then just through here is our shower. So our little sink and shower. Oh, and the best part about this whole boat is what's in here. Oh. What is that? Pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that again. Should we do that again? Yeah. And the best part about this boat is having a washing machine. But yeah, it is handy, super handy, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a washer dryer, so when we're in a marina and we, if it's cold, we'll just stick the dryer on. Yeah. But otherwise, we just use the 14 minute wash mostly. Yeah. Apart from bedding and things. That's it. So, that was a, qu a real quick overview of the layout of the inside of the boat. I suppose we can head over to the nav table and show you the, uh, what we've got set up over there. What do you reckon? Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's do this. So, this is our nav station. We have our switch panel, which turns everything on and off. We have our inverter control panel, which can turn our inverter off, tells our inverter's on at the moment, tells us state of charge, whether the mains is on, any force that's going on with the battery or the battery unit. Our water maker control panel, which is sleek compared to some of the ones I've seen. Super easy, on for on, press it again to turn it off. Flush it once a week just to make the water stay fresh in the system. And our control panel for our generator. So yeah, coming over to my nav station, I have my books down here, which I had to get a nice book rack for. My fly squatter, binoculars. We have our Rain Marine, 12 inch Axiom, we can watch Netflix on it. Um, charts, obviously, see radar. It's got a fish finder, we installed that because we didn't catch any fish last year. I thought, mm, let's get a fish finder, but it hasn't worked. It tells us that the fish are there, but the fish just don't want them. They're not hungry. <laughs> so, um, the reason why there's no information at the moment, because this is paired up to the one at the helm station. The one at the helm station is the primary screen. This is a secondary screen which mirrors the data that gets inputted to that one. Oh, there's my fish finder. Tells me there's fish. We had um, these three gauges come from the factory water gauge, fuel gauge, voltmeter. But I'm a bit, I don't know, I'm a bit funny when it comes to energy and monitoring stuff. So, had this fitted in the UK. Um, Victron Energy battery monitor. Ideal, perfect, it tells us water levels, fuel levels, um, AC loads, battery state, what's being drawn from where, um, how much solar, because we've got solar panels, how much solar is being charged or pumping into the batteries. It gives us a nice overview of, um, of everything systems wise on the boat. VHF, we went for that. I think it's called the black box, but I don't know. But we went for the VHF that's hidden behind, the main box is hidden behind and we just operate it via remote. like it because it's nice and sleek. Nav light, perfect. And last but not least, our radio. Bluetooth, aux, it's fantastic. We, I've never listened to music more than since coming on the boat. Mm. Listen to it every day. As soon as we wake up, music on, job done. Good thing about it is when we have, when we have our projector set up, we can Bluetooth through there, surround sound. Perfect. 
Um, I'm to with you, when we're sailing and it's cold out and everything, we put a little helm on, we can control everything from here. We, when it's, if it's, once the sails are set, we hardly ever sit up there really, yeah. unless it's a nice day. Um, but yeah, this is the saloon. Quick, this is the nav station. Oh, my chart table, but that's just messy at the moment. Yeah, we'll do something another day with our cupboards and... What's in your chart table? Mm. Yeah, the cupboards, because we've done some sort of work ourselves for the cupboards, put additional shelves in, because the cupboards are so high and so high and so deep. <laughs> they uh, you just, just so much wasted space. We put extra shelves in, different storage sort of uh, units. But last thing before we go, over by the light switch, is our aircon and heater control panel, which after last year's sailing, in Greece and Athens, it was a joke. So that was a must for we us. Needed yeah, sure. yeah, definitely. We we designed the extras on this boat based on our previous sailing experiences, which was we used so much money on laundry, so much money on going into marinas to charge up the batteries to fill up the water tanks, and it was so hot, it was unbearably hot. So they're the sort of the three main things we tried to tick off, which was water maker, generator. Aircon. I think that's it for the inside. Yeah. But yes, we'll do the outside another day. We just thought we'll quickly show you the inside because. Yeah. The sun's gone down now, so it's not it's a bit gloomy outside. I think that's from us tonight. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, no, we're, uh, yeah, we're going to go back to our. Where did we go? We're going to eat dinner. Oh, I haven't even cooked yet. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, okay. Well, let's go now then. <laughs> I got a quick dinner. Right, guys. See you later. See you soon. Bye. Goodbye.